you saw we just saw a deer coming down there. I'm gonna try to break, break some puppies. Clear all this stuff up the fence. Good morning. How y'all doing Saturday. today? We got our little phone read a couple of the uh, tank that's in the deer running that little part. So we out here running, training dogs. It's a good time to break some dogs and run up some deer. Anytime you're training dogs and you want an opportunity, see one thing about it, sometimes when the dogs are running and you rabbit hunt and most of y'all are like, uh, hey man, I don't know when to shock them because I don't know whether they're running a rabbit or running a deer. So one of the best things you can do when you're training is, hey, I seen a deer, put them right on the deer. So therefore, there's no doubt in your mind that it was a deer. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, so. A lot of times, a lot of people ask me, man, how do you know they're running the deer? And, you know, different people can give you different advice. Like they say, hey, if they run in a straight line, it's a deer. Or if they oh, clear out of here and listen in 10, 5, 10 minutes, it's a deer. But all of, some of those, they, those are good signs, but they're not guaranteed. So you got to so often, when you're training, one of the best ways to know they're running deer, you pull up on your running ground, pull up somewhere, and you see a deer. We was pulling up in here, Trent said, hey, Dad, I see a deer over there. We stopped the truck. We've been let some of these puppies out, put collars on these puppies, let them out, put them right on top of the deer. If they run it, we're going to shock them. This is one of the best ways to break a deer. Really, you could do this method at nighttime, too, if you got an area where you can let the dogs loose on the deer at night. Put you some corn out, know where some deer at, let the dogs get up there on them. And you shot. So let me see. First, we're going to do train. Train is probably broke or almost broke. So we definitely going to see the day. I already had these collars on them so before I even get out here. to the next level if you want to take your kennel to the next level join this master class i'm telling you it will revolutionize the way you think about training dogs so just for illustration purpose we're just going to do training this question so y'all come on with it seen the deer down here by these trees. So I'm just gonna take them, take them out through here.
Yeah, we seen that deer right in here somewhere. It used to be smelling the tree, so. They can smell that deer now. I think they smell him. And look. I have my collar. I already got it turned all the way up. Look at that train. Smell it over there. Let's see what he's going to do. Train smelt it, but he didn't run at all. Now I'm gonna put it. It's right on top of the deer. We seen the deer right here. So I know they smell it. <laughs> see, see that puppy bar? I ain't shocking. Get him, get him. Yeah, yeah, this is... Watch this. See, that was a little lesson. See, two things happen. Uh, you notice, Train smelt that smelt that deer first of all, but he didn't bark. But then when that puppy hit it, and that puppy barked, that encouraged him to bark. So then Train barked after the puppy barked. See, sometimes dogs can be broke off deer where they won't run the deer themselves, but they, they're not what we call pressure broke. Pressure broke is if other dogs run the deer, will you not run the deer? That's the hardest way to break them. Uh, so for example, Train smelt the track. He knew he smelt, smelt the track. He didn't run it. He came back, didn't do anything. That puppy went down through that bar. Now that encouraged Train to bark. So I just shot both of them. Now normally, uh, that deer jumped the fence, which really messed up the training process. Uh, because I, I normally, I let them run it probably about 30 seconds, let them smell it good, good. And then I'll shock them. But because the fence was right there, I, I couldn't really shock them like I wanted to. So normally I'll, I'll shock them, hold it about five to 10 seconds, let up for five to 10 seconds, let up off of it, five to 10 seconds, let up off of it. And I would've did both of them like that. But I only popped train one time and I popped the puppy twice. Uh, so I went, normally I would do a little bit more than that. But uh, but man, that's how you break these dogs from running this. And you see, they still ready to hunt, so we still good to go. We're gonna take them on to the hunt spot, but that's some good training for y'all that's trying to break these dogs from running deer. You gotta put them on deer. You can't just avoid deer. You gotta put them on it and then you'll break them. This gonna be trained second season um, and hopefully we gonna get him broke probably. Uh, I figure you do train like that two more times, three more times, you'll break him and that puppy, it ain't gonna take him long as well. Um, good deal, y'all take care. Let's run some dogs. <laughs>